to cover up the uh, corruption and failures and fraud that has run rampant after nine years of, of their government. Um, here we have uh, departmental officials in front of us. We have matters that um, have been referred to the RCMP. But like so many cases, when we are uh, so many um, so many examples that we have uh, with respect to procurement, um, what uh, liberal members want is commercials about how well everything is going, and they don't want any accountability. We heard that about the uh, about the Arrive scam app. It was supposed to. It was supposed to cost eighty thousand dollars. It cost many orders of magnitude more than that, and they tried to thwart. They tried to shut down investigations at absolutely every single turn. We found out, of course, that um, it cost uh, fifty-four million dollars, and that the contractors who worked on it, <clears throat> of course have had uh, their front doors kicked in by the RCMP, and uh, we know now that it has uh, been just the, the very top layer of the onion that is this Liberal government. After nine years of Justin Trudeau, all that they can do is try and shut down uh, these basic tools for accountability that we have. And well, I, I know it brings them uh, great pain to uh, step away from uh, from their back deck and their swimming pool. Um, we have important work to do on behalf of Canadians. I I, I know for for a certainty that um, folks in in my community. I know for a certainty that folks in uh, in ridings across this country, 338 ridings, they want accountability for this corrupt liberal government. That's, that's what they want. And they want it in the summer, not just when, uh, when liberal MPs have, um, you know, uh, feel like th they'll tolerate questions uh, from, uh, from the public. So we have these officials here today. And I have questions prepared for the officials, and they're not allowed to answer our questions uh, during this, uh, this uh, motion that's been put forward that's a tactic to shut down accountability. We've seen it for—it's uh, increased. Uh, it's increased as we've uncovered more corruption and more examples uh, of the, the cover-ups that the Liberals have tried to perpetrate. But um, my questions—it's uh, so interesting that they find, uh, they find them political. Um, how many cases of fraud have been referred to the RCMP? Uh, th there's nothing political about that. That question is, is Canadians have a right to know and they have an interest in knowing the volume of fraud that, uh, that is being perpetrated on the government. Canadians are lined up at food banks in record numbers. They're struggling to get by, teetering on the brink of insolvency in record numbers. And what they see is contractors like the grifters at GC Strategies who were banking tens of millions of dollars and doing no IT work on IT contracts. And we've learned that it's just the tip of the iceberg. Ghost contracting, double billing. But these guys were doing, they were adding no value. We know now that there are contractors who were employees of the federal government who were being, this liberal federal government, who were being uh, used as, uh, as subcontractors because we were told the government didn't have the capability in-house to do it. Well, by virtue of the person working at the government, we know for the government, we know that they have the capability uh, in-house to do it. Had the RCMP contacted the Trudeau Liberal government regarding criminal investigations into consultants that were not referred by the government to the RCMP? I, I fail to see how that's a political question. But they don't, the, the Liberals don't want that accountability. They don't want that spotlight on the corruption that they're presiding over, on insiders lining their pockets while Canadians struggle.